And welcome back. The UI Center happening today, tomorrow as well. It's in progress, people. The future building event is taking place right now with the Ontario Construction Secretariat. He's a board member and his name is Wayne Peterson. Welcome, Wayne. Thank you very much. Good to have you here. So, so tell us, I mean, tell us a bit about yourself, okay? So you are well uh, versed in the trades yourself. Yes, I actually started uh, after uh, teacher's college. Okay. Into, took a trade. Okay. And that sheet metal. Okay. on that then uh, moved from the trade into management and various positions up to sales marketing manager type thing with a national company and okay so mm -hmm. can we go back a little bit so you went to teachers college first now yes. what were you going to be a teacher in? a phys ed okay so then yeah. what made you shift because that seems like a little bit of a transition years ago i was offered a contract and that uh, after teachers college to teach music grades three to eight yeah and it didn't fit with the phys ed okay. and I had been working construction in the, the summers with a national company and uh, yeah. I decided to stay. Really? Yeah. That the money I was making in the summer would equal better. the teacher's pay for the <laughs> years. <laughs> okay. That well, was that, also a That always helps. Factor. Now, is that still the, the case for being in the trades nowadays, that the pay is, is a little better than most careers out there? Yeah, the pay is excellent in the trades. Uh, a journeyman on that uh, 85000 Ninety thousand so dollars. What a is year. a journeyman exactly? A journeyman is a uh, is an employee, a union member who has gone through an apprenticeship mm -hmm. uh, to become the top of of their trade. Okay. Uh, with apprenticeship, uh, most trades have a four or five year apprenticeship uh, that uh, someone starts, and uh, they uh, sheet metal, for example, is a nine thousand hour trade. Mm. Uh, in the nine thousand hours that they're working on job sites. They attend school, uh, three eight-week sessions. And that, uh, with that and with what they learn on the job. Mm -hmm. that, so it's really a, a pay as you learn. So uh, you, you really have to be committed as well, because if you're talking about 9,000 hours you need to yes. put in just to get to a certain point. Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay, so tell us about future building then, okay? So how long, how many years has this event been at the UI Center? Future building probably has been going about 15 years. Really, okay. Now, maybe a little longer. That we move it across the province. Uh, it is put on by the Ontario Construction Secretariat. Uh, the Secretariat is a tripartite mm -hmm. of the uh, un unionized ICI building trades, the unionized management uh, associations, and the provincial government. Okay. So uh, it's, a, it's funded by the, the trades themselves, the management group, mm -hmm. and the government. Okay. So future building is happening then at the EY Center. Now, it began yesterday. Yes. Happening today, tomorrow. What can people expect if they're to attend okay. it? So would you call it a, a workshop? Would you call it like a, a show? Would you? What, I would, what, it's would a hands-on introduction to the trades. Okay. Okay. Right now, um, as most people would realize, that the trades are out of the schools. There's no woodworking. There's no welding that at one time they had in the high school system. So the, uh, the youth don't get introduced to any of the construction trades. Mm -hmm. So at the EY Center right now, we have in excess of 20 trades doing hands-on demonstrations that the students can get involved in, mm -hmm. uh, brick laying, some sheet metal, some pipe working, electrical, that uh, just to see what the trades people do. Mm -hmm. that, and uh, really not to, they're not out uh, looking for somebody to hire right away. It's, it's an introduction to say, here's what the trades are, please consider it down the road for a career. Okay, so not only high school students, but I mean anybody in, in particular, because second career is especially, right? Second career is a big, a big draw right now. Uh, and actually tonight we do have a, uh, the show is open from five to eight uh, to allow anybody who's thinking of a second career and interested in the trades, come down and see what it's all about. Okay, so you obviously have all these years uh, of experience in this. Uh, would you give anybody like a certain piece of advice? Like, how do you choose a trade for starters? Like, which one would speak to you the most? How do you, you choose this? You've got to look at the different conditions um, that the trades work under. Not uh, whether you're uh, a very hands-on individual, uh, if you like working outside, inside. There's so many different factors. Mm -hmm. uh, but once someone does become a journeyman, then their future's open to them. They can go anywhere across Canada. Well, because you're a journeyman. You're know? a journeyman. You can <laughs> do that. But then it's also, uh, you can take the, the route uh, to go through as being union business managers. Um, a lot of them uh, finish the uh, journeyman, work a few years for a company, and start their own companies. Yeah. Uh, do you um, see that more and more often, that people are starting up their own companies, especially with this economy? With the economy, yes. Yeah. 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 It's very good. 
Yeah. Uh, right now, and you know, while Ottawa, for example, has fairly consistent uh, construction, some parts of the country, uh, you know, the north, uh, southwestern Ontario, mm -hmm. on that are a little slow. Toronto is booming as always. Yeah, of course. So there's the careers there. Do you see it booming in Ottawa, this area? Because it seems like every part of the city, like as we're going out towards Barhaven and out towards Kempville, or, or just areas, like it's growing, growing, growing. So well, there must be a need for the trades. Uh, there is, there is. Over the next 10 years, uh, Build Force Canada tells us that uh, there are 11,000 journeymen will be retiring, hmm. uh, and that's just through retirements. That's a lot. Uh, never mind new jobs coming in and so forth. Yeah, okay. So that's a lot. So it's a good, a good I mean, if people have some time tonight, tomorrow, they should probably check out this future building event. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Okay, so the hours then? The hours, uh, I believe, are 10 till uh, 3 uh, today and tomorrow but five to eight tonight. Okay. And, and we'd certainly invite the parents down tonight if they're thinking or their son or daughter is thinking of a career in the trades. Yeah, and, and, and even if they aren't thinking of one at, at this point, you know, if they're young, like early high school, yeah. it's good to just get out there and see what else, you know, yeah, uh, what, what else is, is, is available yeah. in this world, right? So yeah. uh, is there a cost to, to get into this event? No. Okay. No. So that's no, a beautiful thing. free. And that, then, uh, you know, the one thing you talk about the trades, and then I mentioned uh, sons and daughters, uh, the trades are really growing on the female side mm -hmm. now. A lot of uh, young ladies are getting in uh, to the trades, coming journeymen, and, and really contributing. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And, and that's an exceptional thing too, and it's just good to have uh, an event like this where we can introduce all these trades yes. to so many people, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, if they can't make it tonight, all the details on what you guys do, futurebuilding.ca? Yes. Best place yep. to go to? Yes. Wayne Peterson, thank you very much for being here today. Great. Thank you very much. And best of luck with the rest of your event. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. More daytime Ottawa coming up. Ottawa Race Weekend is going to be here very soon. And believe it or not, they'll have a mini hospital set up. That's kind of neat. More details next.